We will rehearse the scene now and perform it later in a crowded tavern. So, to work. Mr. Marlowe arrives at the tavern full of fury. Intent on killing me? Yes, that's right. You're playing his uncle Claudius. Claudius? Why Claudius? Oh, I just thought it was a good name for a murdering, cuckolding bastable. Ah, so he's a murdering, cuckolding bastable, is he? I like it. I shall give him a stoop and a limp for extra naturalism. Love it. Now, Marlowe wants you dead because you poisoned his dad. Tell them how, Mr. Shakespeare. I certainly will. He poured it in his ear. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that's funny. Uh, yeah. Oh, I want to poison my brother. How shall I do it? Shall I secretly put it in his wine? Uh, discreetly bake it in his pie? No, I'll pour it in his ear. Isn't that how everybody poisons people? <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I do think Mr. Shakespeare's right. Thank you, Burbage. Yes, the odd comic detail will pique the public interest in the case. It is not comic. It's cruelly poignant. <laughs> now, having murdered Hamlet's dad, uh, I mean, Marlowe's dad, Uncle Claudius is now a dallying with Marlowe's mum. Mr. Condell, you will play Kit's mother, Gertrude. Oh, quite a challenge. I'm horribly young for it. <laughs> Gertrude and Claudius are flirting together, and Marlowe arrives full of fury, bent on revenge. I leap to my feet, a savage, stooped and limping villain. We fight, he dies. I like it. Yes, an excellent plot, and one I feel sure will satisfy the authorities. Don't be ridiculous. That's not a death scene. Blimey, there's only one death. Besides which, we need complex motivations. Kit had a girlfriend, Ophelia, who has been driven mad. Trying to follow this plot? Who said that? I did, so... <laughs> because Kit has previously accidentally stabbed her father. Tell them how, Mr Shakespeare. He was hiding behind a curtain and Kit stabbed him by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not funny. Ophelia, of course, goes mad with grief and dies. Tell them how, Mr Shakespeare. She drowned in a duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> There's a duck pond in this pub, then. <laughs> the duck pond is off stage. I, I mean, elsewhere. Her death is reported and will, in my view, one day provide the excuse for many pervy paintings by dirty old artists depicting dead nymphettes in wet nighties. <laughs> but the point is, Ophelia's death is important backstory, because as Kit turns up, hell-bent on confronting his wicked uncle... Yes, just to be clear here, Will, how does Mr Marlowe know that it's his uncle who's killed his father? Yes, tell them how, Mr Shakespeare. His father's ghost told him. <laughs> Which is not funny. So, so Mr. Marlowe, plagued by his father's ghost, has come to kill his uncle. Just then, Laertes turns up. That's you, Kemp. So, Laertes, have I missed something? He's Ophelia's brother, bent on avenging his father and his sister. So we now have two sons avenging their fathers. Isn't this getting a little confusing, Will? How? How is it confusing? One of the avenging sons is avenging his stabbed father and drowned sister, and the other is avenging his poisoned father and defiled mother. How could that be any clearer? Mm, I can't think. So, Burbage and Condell are sitting in the pub together having a flirt and a banter. Ah, can I have some pickled herrings to toy with? I'd like a bit of business, as I don't seem to have much in this scene. No, Mr Condell, because I know you, and suddenly Marlowe's death would be all about the pickled herrings. That's an outrageous slur. Kit bursts in, full of murderous fury. But then Laertes also bursts in, also full of murderous fury. Kemp wounds Kit, but in the struggle, Kemp dies. Tell them how, Mr Shakespeare. By stabbing himself. <laughs> Yes, you do. Condell, seeing her son wounded and feeling a bit guilty about rogering his uncle, also dies. Tell them how, Mr Shakespeare? She drinks some conveniently placed poisoned wine. Did she pour it in her ear? I've heard that's the best way to take poison. <laughs> Kit, sorely wounded but driven by vengeful fury, stabs Burbage, who also dies. Kit then dies as well before all order is restored. Oh, tell them how, Mr Shakespeare? By the arrival of the Norwegian army. <laughs> Which is funny. Oh,